Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to solve this example. So all that means to prove, we have to prove. In our last video, we have already seen example of the same type. So let us discuss this example also. We have a given function f of x, y is equal to this one. Okay. By looking at it, it looks a little bit complicated getting, but don't worry. It is not that much difficult. How much you are thinking it, it is quite simple. See. Uh, what we have to prove? We have to prove that 0 is a limit. Okay, what we have to prove? 0 is a limit of f at this point, 0, 0. You know that when we have to prove limit of any function is equal to 0 here or L here, we take epsilon first. So I will do the same thing. I will consider one epsilon. So let epsilon greater than 0 be given. See, with the help of epsilon delta definition, I am going to prove it. So what is our task? Our task is to find delta. Okay. So I write here, we have to find here, we have to find delta greater than zero such that, okay, such that it should satisfy this condition. That means zero less than norm x, y minus x, y minus 0, 0 less than delta implies, can you tell me implies, yeah, implies mod f of x, y minus L means 0 here less than epsilon, okay. We have to prove that, we have to find delta which will satisfy this condition, okay. So let us start to work on this. So consider, okay, what will we do? We will solve this part first and after that we will come to this point. Okay. So let us start with that part. Mod f of x, y minus 0. See, uh, if you subtract 0, you will have same. So this is mod f of x, y, right? So this is equal to, uh, I, shall I write? Okay. I will write here. Huh? Mod. What is our f of x, y? Yeah, this is our f of x, y providing x, y is not equal to 0. So see, uh, x square y upon root x square plus y square. Am I right? Yes. So uh, where shall I write? I will write uh, here. Okay. Leave this space. Okay. I'm going to write here. So is equal to if mod is there. Okay. If division is there, you can take separate separate mod or if multiplication is there, then you can take separate separate mod. So that's why I can write x square. Actually, x square has no need of mod since square cannot be negative. So that's why I will leave it as it is for y we have to take mod and here we consider a positive square root. So there will not be any mod. So x square plus y square. Okay. See one adjustment I'm going to do. Huh? So that adjustment is x square. So y means can I write root y square? Remaining part is same. Tell me can I write in this way? Yeah, obviously square and square root will get cancelled, right? And you will have again y. We consider a positive square root. So that's why we will have mod y. So this is equal to, okay, x square. See what I'm going to do. I'm going to add x square here. Getting denominator same. This part is also same. Simply what I'm doing, I'm adding x square in y square. That means we are adding something. We are adding something to the numerator. So there are chances of increasing value. Getting, so this is, this is less than or equal to this one. So what will happen? Can you tell me? Yeah. Can we cancel anything here? Obviously we can cancel x square, this square root square root. So that's why finally we will have x square. So therefore, therefore I can write what we get finally. Therefore getting, so therefore what we get mod f of x, y minus zero less than or equal to x square. This thing we have, I'm calling it as equation number one. So now our task is to find delta. Okay. Then we choose. Then we choose delta is equal to, we have to choose some delta, but we don't know. Really, we don't know what we have to select delta. So I will keep it blank. I will go further. And after solving few steps, I will come to know, we will come to know uh, the required value of delta. So see, let us go further. I'm keeping it blank. And I will start to work on this part now. Okay. So consider 0 less than norm 
एक्स वाई माइनस जीरो जीरो लेस दैन डेल्टा ओके सो लेट एस कंसिडर दिस पार्ट सो वॉट विल हैपन विल यू टेल मी दिस हाउ टू सब्ट्रैक्ट कंपोनट वाइज सब्ट्रैक्शन राइट सो एक्स माइनस जीरो एक्स करेक्ट एंड वाई माइनस जीरो वाई सो वी हैव दिस वन लेस दैन डेल्टा डू यू नो हाउ टू टेक स्क्वेर रूट sorry how to find value of norm there is a square root right so there by definition of norm i can write square root of x square plus y square less than delta right so actually uh, you have to make a screenshot of it and after that i will go further please make a screenshot of it okay so let us go further so as you know what we do after this okay so you can also tell me yeah tell me what we have to do to remove that square root we take square of both sides so what will happen if i take square of both sides so that's why we will have x square plus y square less than delta square right so see uh, if you take if you take uh, that means if sum of this two is less than delta square so that's why individually so x square less than delta square and y square is also less than delta square so uh, i will not consider this part i will just take x square less than delta square so you see here also we have got x square right now so you from one tell me what can i write then from one tell me what can i write from one from one mod f of x y minus 0 already we have proved it is less than or equal to x square and here we are saying x square is less than delta square actually expected is we have to prove that this is less than epsilon so my choice of delta should be root epsilon ha huh? so that's why if you put delta is equal to epsilon root epsilon we'll have root epsilon square 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 root cancel and we'll have epsilon so yeah we succeed in proving that mod f of x minus 0 is less than is less than epsilon so therefore i will conclude here so therefore therefore yeah we started with this one na zero less than norm x y minus 0 0 less than delta implies finally we got mod f of x y minus 0 less than we proved it is less than epsilon so therefore yeah therefore okay i will write the required answer therefore limit x y tends to 0 0 right limit x y tends to 0 0 f of x y is equal to 0 so in this way we Proved. Yes. Finish. Okay. So make a screenshot of it, and after that we will stop.